Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarander. And today we're going to talk about, um, basically, sheeting in Pokemon. I think that's a good way of really talking about it. Uh, Release if I made a video, of, actually, I think a week ago, where we updated about that uh, the Global Link uh, guys at, of course, Game Freak and Nintendo has found a way to uh, make sure or to ban people and, um, of course, acting by ramification on them uh, if uh, they are cheating. And uh, they have found like a bit of like save data devices that's going to be able to track these save files down. Now, I do believe, sadly, uh, that this is actually... I think it's a good thing. I do. Um, because there is a hunt for this, after all, I guess. But at the same time, there is um, the, the thing that's going to sadly be unaffected is that you can just pass your Pokemon to an un un uh, game file. Like, for example, if you have a, a Ruby and Sapphire, you can just... And you gen on uh, Ruby, you can just pass it to Sapphire, and you should be fine. Uh, so that is for everybody who's been a bit concerned. The save data corruption, or the save data file cookie that is in the save file, it can only be a, um, found if it has been used by items that is unavailable for the game. That's how they find it out. So it's very simple um, as of right now. And it can get more complex. I really hope it does. Um, and I just, like I said, I wanted to give my own thoughts about it. Was I, what I really think about cheating in Pokemon. And, you know, I won't deny the fact that power saving and uh, PK hacking and um, what I am doing for, from time to time, that is, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, I have power save and I have the save dongle for R4 to gen uh, generation 3 and 4 moves like for example which chancy to the games um, these are cheating devices these are a way of cheating game to get something that was supposed to be more exclusive content and um, yeah you know I won't deny that fact it definitely is cheating um, but at the same time I can't deny that fact that there are like I'm trying to say this in the best way possible to not sound arrogant uh, because it's going to come down to that I really think that this is a good way of um, getting up content fast. For, for um, um creator of videos that I am, a, a content creator, um, for, for, as me for a content creator, it's tough to make new sets, new Pokemon every day and even for being an LBA for example, I, I need new stuff, like I need new stuff fast. And uh, I can't make the same excuses that you guys have heard all the time, that you know, you don't have the time, that's why you're using part of it. I do have the time, but I'd rather spend that time making videos than making sets of Pokemon to make less videos, because I want to entertain you guys, first of all, and I don't play competitively, so I don't affect that meta game. Now, I have said on um, the Swedish VGC stance that even if genin and power saving is illegal, it still is, as it is my responsibility as a power save uh, owner to help other people. Like, I see that as I have the tools to help out, I should be able to. I actually spread it to the, these guys, Hoopas, uh, Event Dragonites. Basically, to they want to be play legitimately, but they couldn't get the Pokemons. I could, I could help them. Uh, like I said, I feel that that's my responsibility to make a Pokemon that is very unique in sets to actually be common. Because that is really what it's all about for me, of using this kind of sheeting devices. It's it's up to me to help others too. Like, it's a responsibility. And there also is a fact that really needs to stand out. And that is that Game Freak and Nintendo are getting a lot of commercials out of us pocket tubers because we are actually feeding content and sets on games that is gonna be still be active without guys like us these games wouldn't be as well entertaining would be a big entertainment value out of it and we obviously is not getting paid by nintendo nor game freak to spread this kind of blessing for the games which means that even if they they get solved the power save issue they still can't deny that fact that without that tools, that the content is gonna be, well, a slower pace. And um, I don't see them 
being able to stop that, nor will they be able to do so. But in competitively, I see it. I get it. I'll even go so far and say that for competitive use in the VGCs, you should have legit Pokemon. I it's easy to pull off. Like I said, you only need a separate save file on other games to pull that off, and um, you you definitely need that. And uh, <laughs> we have to treat that kind of fact with respect. But um, yeah, like I said. Um, these tools are important, and you know they will obviously not have been needed had the game been more accessible. Uh, I didn't even consider buying a power save until Ruby Sapphire because of the faulty money system. I always like to uh, buy items or vitamins for my Pokémon to get them in a good value, and then use the super training to uh, sped it up. It really didn't take that long. And I didn't mind doing it the long process, and I actually still breeding. As usual, you know, for the perfect IVs or five IVs, I still feel that you know it's my way of doing that. I really, I want that process in uh, well, when I play the game. I really want to get that bond with the Pokémons. Um, but like I said, the reason I got the power save was because that it was such a hard way of earning money in Pokémon. You basically need to spend time going through Elite Four if you wanted to, and that took a lot of time. Uh, X and Y had a much better system with, uh, you can sell the gold nuggets, I do believe, uh, by going for um, a 3 versus 3 battle, and that really worked well. It was an easy way of getting money, and vitamins, and experience points, to easily get everything to level 50, and I have no idea why it took that away, and um, it really, like I said, that was a nail in comfort for me to actually buy a power save in the first place, so... All I can say is to you, if Gay Freak is watching this, which I don't, it, they obviously isn't. It is that make the game more accessible. Make like don't make the follow-up worse in design. Um, I think if the game was more accessible by design and EV training, that these devices would not, or they wouldn't be as required as they are for today. As a content creator, I, I have to say that as a content creator, these types of devices are important because it helps me do my job and uh, while I do agree on that it's cheating it's still a cheating that I was forced to get because you made it impossible for me to do this in a faster pace which also meant that I spent more time not commercialize the game which is the whole point of really doing these videos in the first place so yeah I mean for the people that are against power save, I get it, but uh, you're arguing with the wrong guy, sadly. <laughs> and like I said, I do get you guys who are against that, and I won't blame you for it. And um, it's just something people have to deal with. It really is. So I'm I'm glad you took the time to watch this video. It's it's just my own thoughts, like I said about it, and um, I really hope that I at least. Was at least able to wake some thoughts to you guys was against this why I power save in the first place and why it is important for me. And I do expect people to also have the opposite reaction, and that will be fine too. Um, this community, Pokemon community, is great, and um, as long as I have tools like power save, I'm gonna be around for Pokemon for a while, and it's something I really enjoy doing. So. Thank you guys for watching as always, and um, leave your own thoughts about sub power saving in general. Jenning in general, what are your thoughts about it? And uh, should Game Freak do something about it, or should instead it be something that should be done to the power savers that should be stopped? And um, leave your thoughts about it. You know, I'll, I'll read them. I'll I definitely I appreciate um, the either way of the argument because. It, there is no right answer in this. We can just see it black or white or try to understand one another. In in the end, it's I hope it's going to matter for everybody else watching this. Uh, so guys, thank you for watching. We are kicking at 10 minutes. Huh. How about that? All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.